Meanwhile, U.S. lawmakers grilled the director of the National Security Agency over the recent Internet and phone spying scandals. But Keith Alexander continues to defend the U.S. intelligence community. These people. They do this lawfully. They take compliance oversight, protecting civil liberties and privacy and the security of this nation to their heart every day. I could not be more proud of the men and women of NSA and Cyber Command. What we now need to do is take the next step in moving that forward. Well, the NSA director was testifying before a Senate committee. Alexander also claimed secret U.S. surveillance has thwarted dozens of potential attacks on America. Newly revealed U.S. government phone and Internet surveillance programs have sparked outrage in America. Under these secret programs, large companies such as Facebook and Google collected online information of millions of Americans. Also, telecom companies like Verizon were told to eavesdrop on U.S. citizens. These surveillance activities have sparked anger among civil liberties advocates. Well, to discuss that a bit further, and I'm joined by Caleb Maupin, who is with the International Action Center, and he is joining us live now from New York. Thanks a lot for joining us now. In the face of all this criticism, Keith Alexander says he is proud of the NSA's employees. How do you react to that? Well, it, it's certainly frustrating to hear that because as much as the, uh, you know, the government may claim this is protecting us from terrorism, police terrorism is going on all across the United States. You know, Marley Graham here in New York City was gunned down. Kamani Gray was also gunned down. So people are, are being murdered by law enforcement and the United States is, is fomenting terrorist attacks in Syria and trying to destabilize Syria. Many millions of people across the United States do not trust their government. That's the reality here. And, 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 and that they're very frightened by the fact that the, the government that goes around professing freedom and goes around demonizing other governments around the world for allegedly not being free enough, uh, that this government is, is now you know, attacking the privacy of its citizens so extremely. Uh, it, it's very frustrating and, and it, it really shows that so much of, of the propaganda that is inculcated into people in the United States is very false. It's, 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 a, lot of, it's a lot of hot air, but, but in reality our rights are being gradually slipping away. Our rights are gradually slipping away in this time of economic crisis. And it's not just American citizens' rights, is it? I mean, it's the European Union's Justice Commissioner has now written that, that letter asking for detailed answers about you know, how EU citizens have been affected. Is the U.S., in a sense, destroying its relationship with other regions in the world? Well, that could perhaps be true. Uh, you know, the U.S. has a long record of, of, of basically flaunting international law. But we, we do need to keep in mind that these, you know, these statements from the European Union are somewhat hypocritical because similar attacks on civil liberties are going on all across the European Union, in the United Kingdom and France in particular. So, you know, uh, you know it, it is true, but, but the U.S. has a long record of you know, flaunting international law and saying that it has the right to, to condemn other countries for what they dubbed to be human rights violations while routinely stepping on the rights of its own citizens and people internationally. So then where do we go from here, do you think? Will the U.S. be held accountable? Well, there are millions of people across the United States and especially across the world who are beginning to, to reject the policies that are coming out of Washington, D.C. right now. The fact that the government was working hand-in-hand -hand with, with Facebook, with Verizon to spy on the people of the United States, it shows that there's a real fear in the House of Power of what could happen. I mean, recently in Jackson, Mississippi, Chokwe Lumumba, a revolutionary activist, was elected, you know, the mayor. Uh, you know, there, there's been huge protests and growing demonstrations. Uh, polls are coming out. The people of the United States have very unsatisfied with, with what's happening in this country, where people are being thrown out of their homes, where poverty and unemployment are increasing. And I think that, that the increase in surveillance is really based on a fear in the halls of power of what's, what could happen when the, as the people are waking up and asserting their rights and, and standing up against the wealthy and powerful. All right, we'll have to leave it for, there for now. But of course, we do appreciate your insight. As always, that was Caleb Maupin speaking to us live from New York.